HTML and CSS are the building blocks of the web. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is used to create the structure of a web page. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It is used to style and lay out web pages. Together, HTML and CSS form the foundation of web development. HTML provides the content and structure. CSS provides the design and layout. Knowing both is essential for creating functional and attractive websites. Learning HTML and CSS is the first step to becoming a web developer. They are easy to learn, but very powerful. With practice, you can create stunning web pages. Mastering these technologies opens many opportunities. Whether you want to build your own website or start a career in web development, HTML and CSS are the place to start. An HTML document has a specific structure. It starts with a doc type declaration. This tells the browser what version of HTML you are using. The document is then divided into two main parts, the head and the body. The head contains meta information about the document. This includes the title, character set, and links to CSS files. The title is what appears in the browser tab. Meta tags provide information like the author and description. The body contains the content of the web page. This includes text, images, links, and other media. Each part of the content is enclosed in HTML tags. Tags are the building blocks of HTML. HTML tags usually come in pairs. The opening tag starts an element and the closing tag ends it. For example, the paragraph tag starts a paragraph and the closing paragraph tag ends it. This structure helps browsers understand and display the content correctly. Semantic HTML elements are tags that describe the meaning of the content. Examples include header, footer, article, and section. These tags make the HTML more readable and meaningful. Using semantic elements helps search engines understand the content. This can improve your website's SEO. It also makes your code easier to read and maintain. Other developers can quickly understand the structure of your document. For example, a header tag is used for the top section of a page. This usually contains the logo and navigation. The footer tag is used for the bottom section. This often contains contact information and links. Semantic HTML is also important for accessibility. Screen readers use these tags to help visually impaired users navigate the site. This makes your website more inclusive and user-friendly. Forms are essential for user interaction. They allow users to submit data to a web server. An HTML form is created using the form tag. Inside the form, you can include various input elements. Input types include text, password, email, and more. Each type has specific attributes and behaviors. For example, an input type for email ensures that the user enters a valid email address. This helps in data validation. Validation is crucial for ensuring the data is correct and safe. HTML5 provides built-in validation features. You can use attributes like required, mi, max, and pattern. These attributes help you control what users can submit. For example, the required attribute makes a field mandatory. The pattern attribute allows you to specify a regular expression. This is useful for complex validation rules. Using these features improves user experience and data quality. Section 5. Introduction to CSS. Selectors, Properties, and Values. CSS selectors are used to target HTML elements. Once an element is selected, you can apply styles to it. Selectors can target elements by type, class, ID, or attribute. This gives you great flexibility in styling. Properties are the aspects of an element that you want to style. Examples include color, font size, and margin. Each property has a value, which defines the style. For example, color red sets the text color to red. Values can be specified in various units. Common units include pixels, EMS, and percentages. Each unit has its own use cases. Pixels are good for fixed sizes. EMs and percentages are better for responsive design. Combining selectors, properties, and values allows you to create detailed styles. 
you can make your web pages look exactly how you want. This is the power of CSS. Section 6, the CSS box model, margins, padding, and borders. The CSS box model is a fundamental concept. It describes how elements are displayed on the page. Each element is considered a rectangular box. This box has several parts, content, padding, border, and margin. The content is the innermost part. This is where your text and images go. Padding is the space between the content and the border. It adds space inside the element. The border surrounds the padding and content. Margins are the outermost part. They create space outside the element. Margins are used to separate elements from each other. All these parts can be styled using CSS properties. Understanding the box model is crucial for layout design. It helps you control spacing and alignment. This makes your web pages look clean and organized. Section 7. Using Flexbox and Grid for Layout Design Flexbox and Grid are powerful layout systems in CSS. They make it easier to design complex layouts. Flexbox is ideal for one-dimensional layouts. It helps you arrange elements in a row or column. Flexbox uses properties like Flex Direction, Justify Content, and Align Items. These properties help you control the alignment and spacing of elements. Flexbox is great for creating responsive layouts. Grid is used for two-dimensional layouts. It allows you to arrange elements in rows and columns. Grid uses properties like Grid Template Rows, Grid Template Columns, and Gap. These properties give you precise control over your layout. Both Flexbox and Grid simplify layout design. They reduce the need for floats and positioning. This makes your CSS code cleaner and easier to maintain. Section 8. Importance of Responsive Design and Media Queries Responsive design is about making web pages look good on all devices. This includes desktops, tablets, and smartphones. Media queries are a key tool for responsive design. They allow you to apply different styles based on the device's characteristics. Media queries use the at at media rule. You can specify conditions like screen width, height, and orientation. For example, at media, max width, 600 pixels, targets devices with a screen width of 600 pixels or less. Using media queries, you can create breakpoints. Breakpoints are points where the layout changes to fit the screen. This ensures that your web page is usable on any device. Responsive design improves user experience. Users can access your website on any device without issues. This is essential in today's mobile-first world. Section 9. Popular CSS Frameworks Bootstrap and Tailwind CSS CSS frameworks are libraries that simplify styling. They provide pre-written CSS code for common tasks. Bootstrap and Tailwind CSS are two popular frameworks. Bootstrap is a comprehensive framework. It includes a grid system, components, and utilities. It is easy to use and widely adopted. Bootstrap helps you create responsive and consistent designs quickly. Tailwind CSS is a utility-first framework. It provides low-level utility classes. These classes are designed to be combined to create custom designs. Tailwind is highly customizable and flexible. Using a framework can speed up your development process. It also ensures that your designs are consistent and professional. Both Bootstrap and Tailwind CSS are excellent choices. Section 10. Conclusion. Benefits of Mastering HTML and CSS Mastering HTML and CSS offers many benefits. It allows you to create your own websites. You can also customize existing websites. This skill is in high demand in the job market. HTML and CSS are the foundation of web development. They are easy to learn but powerful. With practice, you can create functional and beautiful web pages. Understanding these technologies opens up many opportunities. Whether you want to build a personal blog or start a career, HTML and CSS are essential. They are the first step in your web development journey. Mastering them is a rewarding and valuable skill. Invest time in learning HTML and CSS. The benefits will be worth it. You will gain the skills to create amazing websites and open up new opportunities.